Hey guys, Richard with Fish and Auto Channel and Reese.com. We're in the show floor of Reefer Orlando 2022. And I'm here with my good friend Josh of Clearwater Scrubbers. How you doing, man? Good. How are you, Richard? Good, good. And we're in Sichez booth to unveil his newest creation, Audi Scrubber 2.0. The Clearwater Scrubbers 2.0. Been working for the last six, eight months on this redesign here. Sure. We ended up partnering with Kyle from Adaptive Reef on it. So right. he will be OEM and them for us going forward. Yeah. And we had listened to everybody's complaints, concerns, changes, ideas that they had wanted for the last five years that we've been out. Mm -hmm. And we kind of amalgamized it into this little beauty you see right here. So, so I see the mountains, mountain of a scrubber here. To Correct. Explain, explain what is all this. Okay, so this is our display model here for the show here. This is right. our CW200, yep. and that's what we did. What we wanted to show everybody is, is this is our CW100, and this is our new CW100. Gotcha. So what we wanted to show everybody is the drastic changes that we've done and the improvements we've made on this new scrubber uh -huh. that benefits the hobbyists here. So. One of the biggest complaints we got was the overall length of this, and we don't have the bulkheads over here spun out. So you can imagine the bulkheads would probably be out another inch, inch and a half over here, versus the new one up here, how compact it is. You don't have the external plumbing over here anymore. You don't have the slot pipe up here, and you don't have the side drains anymore. It's all compact, no more PVC, yeah. and you got a bottom drain right in the middle of it. Gotcha. So besides the overall difference and the obvious, you know, the appearance wise, what else have you made? What are the modifications have you made from this one to the old units? Okay. So first and foremost is, is how the water is delivered to sure. the algae screen okay. inside there. So we came up with this design. We are submitting it for patent okay. approval later this week. So it will be patent pending, hopefully very, very soon. Hopefully we'll have the patent on it within two years. And then also this tray inside here that holds the screen will be submitting for patent approval there. So basically the water comes in mm -hmm. through this little barb over here, fills up this entire chamber. Yeah. This piece here that is part of the frame actually has a slot cut into it. I the noticed that you don't have a clips on it anymore. It looks like it's uh -uh. a bar. No, there's no more PVC pipe in there needed anymore. Okay. So now it's the tray inside that mm -hmm. does it. The water comes out, actually there's a slot cut into this here that allows the water to come from outside the unit into inside the unit. Yeah. And then it fills up this tray here that's removable along here. Gotcha. And when is this unit uh, going to come out? We are looking at probably a late, mid to late June in the retailer's hands. The retailers should be receiving them probably the first, second weekend of June. So, you know, one thing that I noticed is that a lot of my viewers are actually from the other side of the pond. And this is good news that this is not only for U.S., but this will be available in Europe as well, right? Correct, correct. Okay. We, are, we are in conversations with some distributors over there currently. Uh, there is one U.S.-based distributor the deals over there, uh, Mr. Uh, Francois Neo from Elos over here. Uh, so they will be available in Italy, France, and Belgium when we launch. Very nice. And then will they be around the similar time that's available to US or a little bit after? I would say it's going to be a little bit after just due to the shipping times and stuff like that. But the lights are already set up for 110 or 240. So they're already a universal light where the only thing that is needed it's is adapted. an adapter plug for the US style plug right now. Gotcha. So uh, we're going to get together with Josh right now to talk about the redesign of this unit in more in depth. I noticed the first thing in hand was that this is actually it's not a, acrylic. No, it's a PVC lid now. So right, the, you don't uh, have to worry about the warp or anything Correct, like that. correct. The, one, of the big, one of the bigger complaints we got was acrylic lids. They're right. porous, so they're going to absorb water and they would always bow. Yeah. You could always flip them upside down, but it, it wasn't practical for the customers anymore. So we went to a PVC lid. This unit doesn't have it on it, and you'll see earlier on the 100, mm -hmm. the light covers, they do come included, and those are made out of the same PVC board that the lid is made out of. And one other thing that I saw was that this is actually made so that it slides on and off instead of the typical screws. Correct, correct. So you don't so have to worry about the rust. Yeah, there's like no that. more anything to rust on there or anything yeah. like that. And it is a little snug fit until yeah. it gets down in there. 
So, gotcha. um, one of the other big selling points of this is you don't have to shut your unit off anymore to remove the screen. Now, the whole screen is removable like this. Yeah. You can clean it, and actually, I just kind of discovered this the other day. You don't even have to scrape them anymore. You can just lift up on the screen there, yeah. and it'll it'll suck the algae off that way. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so you could just put that over a trash can, yeah. and then scrape it with that, and you don't even have to touch the algae. So for the customers that complained that they didn't like to touch the algae, you don't have to touch it anymore. A big change on this, being this is still a prototype here, the, the, these acrylic rods that hold the screen won't slide in and out anymore. They will have stops, so it's not gonna be as clunky as this, and there will be a handle that'll make it a little easier for people with big hands to pull this out. Yeah, I like the fact that it doesn't have a clip because uh, I know that the clips are made to withhold, I guess, 15 pounds of weight. Correct. However, I did break quite a few of them. Correct. Because, Correct. you know, like, I, I'm one of those people that that's, so I suffer serious uh, lazy reefer uh, Lars syndrome. Yes. <laughs> you know? So uh, I just let it grow. And then it got to a point where it's so bulky, and then it started to break the clip when I try to take it out. Correct. And, they, and you don't have to worry about this. This unit, you can mount anywhere except for where it's going to be submerged now going forward as long as it's above the water line yeah and also there's like a 99.9 percent .9 chance that it's not going to leak that even if the you get lazy yeah and forget to clean the algae off and it sloughs off that it will siphon the algae out straight out of the bottom drain on it so if i remember correctly i think i have heard uh, from somebody that you are creating a hang-on version of this. Correct, correct. Okay. We're, we're working on one right now. There's some bugs that we got to fix on it. I'm not going to release something out to the public or to the consumers that I wouldn't use on my own tank. So uh, it'll probably be after we get these released, shortly thereafter, we will have a hang-on version for the freshwater or the all-in-one all in one like nano tanks and stuff correct. like that. Correct. Awesome. Right. So we just dropped a big announcement. This is the big release from Clearwater and CJ about their new scrubber. Is there anything else you're working on? I know that you guys are We have a couple other things in the works here. They are for small in one tanks. Mm -hmm. We will be including the CJ pumps with those two and we hope to have those released at the next Reef of Palooza. Well thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something new. Have a great day guys.